One of the important topics from number system that is HCF It stands for highest common factor. So before moving to find out the HCF of the given number, let us see what are the methods to find. There are three methods to find the HCF of the given number. Those are common factor method prime factor method and division method. These are the three main methods to find out the HCF of given number. Before moving to the numericals, let us see what are factors. We will recall what are factors. When two or more numbers multiplied, the product is, the result is the product and the number multiplied are called as the factors. For example, here we have taken a number 35. It can be written as 5 7s are. 5 7s are 35. Here 5 and 7 are called factors, whereas 35 is the product. Let us see another example. 2 into 3 into 4 is equal to 24 where 2, 3 and 4 are factors, 24 is the product. Now let us consider a single number 48 and let us find out all the factors of 48. So here we can write 48 like this, 1 48s are, 2 24s are, 3 16s are, 4 12s are. Again in fifth table 48 cannot be divided without leaving any reminder hence 5 is not the factor. You can write 6 8s are. Then 8 6 are 48, 12 4s are, 16 3s are, 24 2s are, 48 1s are. Here you can see these numbers are again repeated. You see here. So now, what are the factors of 48? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, 48. These are the factors of 48. If you consider the other side also, you can see here, you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24 and 48. So these are the factors of 48. Cleared. Okay friends, now we will move to the first method that is common factor method to find out the HCF of the given number. Let us consider three number 48, 36 and 96. In order to find out the HCF of these numbers, first you have to find the factors. Here we are dealing with the common factor method. So you have to write the all the factors of the given number. You know how to write the factors of the given number just now we have learned. So you can write factors of 48 like this. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24 and 48. The same way. You can write the factors of 36 and 96. These are the factors. Now, we have to check what are common in all these three. So, in all these three lines, you see one is common in all the three. So, circle these numbers. One is common. Next is two is common in all the three. Next three is common. Next is four. We have six also as common. Coming to the next number eight. Eight is common in factors of 48 and factors of 96. We don't have eight 
here in 36 so we cannot take this number next move on to the next number 12 it's common in all the 3 so 12 next 16 16 we find here in the last and you cannot circle that and next moving on 24 24 is not the common factor for all the three given numbers even 48 hence if you check out with the first line and you will come to know now how to find the HCF HCF stands for highest common factor and now the circled numbers are common factors therefore you can write HCF highest common factor of the given number given numbers are 48 36 and 96 is 12 so 12 is the highest one among this is 12 easy ok now we shall move to the next method to find out the HCF of given number in order to check the answer we have considered the same number before we have taken for the common factor method 48 36 and 96 so in order to find the HCF first we have to find the prime factors of this method these numbers given so how to find the prime factors so write 48 and try to divide and see you can choose a prime number what are prime numbers the numbers which are divided by 1 and the number itself ok so um, uh, 2 is a prime number we begin with 2 we will choose the smallest number so 2 4 2 24 are 48 further this can be divided into 12 are moving further 12 can be divided by 2 6 2's are again 2 3's are 3 1's are till we get the remainder as 1 we can go with this method so when you multiply these numbers these factors you will get back the previous number itself 48 so you can write the prime factors of 48's are the multiplication 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 you cannot write by putting comma as that of the common factor method here you need to write in multiplication form only next same way find out the factors of prime factors of 36 36 2 18s are 2 9s are 9 cannot be divided by 2 so go for the next number 3 3 3s are 9 3 1s are ok write this numbers the factors of 36 are prime factors of 36 are 2 2 3 and 3 so you can write 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 now we have to find out the prime factor of 96 you can take 2 40 8 so. 2 20 4 again 2 12 sir. 2 6 sir. again 2 3 sir. 3 1 sir. now these all are the prime factors of 96 hence we can write 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 now we have to check out with these numbers whether they are common in all the 3 
if they are common in all the three circle the number or you can put tick mark also this two 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 is common in all the three next two 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 next two we have here when we don't have for 36 we have here for 96 so we cannot take this two you need to take only the highest common factor so you cannot take this next two next move to three three is common here and three is common here three is common here so any one number only we need to select now what are the number you got two two three multiply these numbers 2 into 2 into 3. 2 2 is a 4, 4 3 is a 12. So now this is the highest common factor of the given number. Therefore, HCF of 48, 36, and 96 is 12. We got back the same answer as that of the common factor method yes this is how we find the hcf of the given number using prime factor method next we will move to the third method to calculate the hcf of the given number again we have chosen the same numbers 48 36 and 96 let's see how to find the hcf of these numbers by division method if two numbers are given you can take the smaller number and divide by the greater number if three numbers are given let us perform the operation only for the first two number then from the result obtained we can divide the third number so among these two number choose the greater number and divide by the smaller number so 48 you can divide by 36 so when you divide 36 ones are 36 when uh, you go multiply with 2 it goes more than 48 so you can go for 36 ones are 36 what is the remainder now subtract 8 minus 6 is 2 4 minus 3 is 1 12 is the remainder now you must keep this as it is and write this 36 inside like this now div this remainder 36 now divide 36 by 12 the remainder of the previous sum you will get 12 3 is a 36 right yeah so now subtract you will get 0 as the result so till you get the remainder as 0 you need to perform the operation like this be careful while writing this number into the next step now you got hcf for uh, 48 and 36 as 12 12 is this number where you got the divisor of the last step so this will be the HCF for the number now with the result obtained we need to carry out the next step choose the last number that is 96 is given 96 divide by 12 so you will get um, when you choose 90s uh, to get 96 12 7 are if you check 4 you will get 84 is answer 84 is smaller value let's check for the next number so 12 8s are when you get 12 8s are 16 1 is remaining 8 1s are 8 plus 9, 96 yeah you get you'll get the value so you can write 8 12s are 96 so you got the remainder as 0 when you subtract so now the number which is remaining here this divisor this divisor final result divisor is the hcf of all the three number which are given therefore 
एच सी एफ ऑफ फोर्टी एट थर्टी सिक्स एंड नाइन्टी सिक्स इज ट्वेल्व क्लियर आई थिंक दिस डिविशन मेथड इज ईजी प्लीज प्रैक्टिस If you have any issues, please comment in the comment section. And if you would like to get further videos informations, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. And if you like the channel or like the concepts, the way we teach, please give a like thumbs up so that it will encourage us to teach further. And in the competitive exams. the question may be asked direct way to find the hcf of the given number by direct method they can mention by division method or by prime factor method or common factor method or it can be twisted like this also so check out this first question it could be asked like this find the greatest number that divides each of 180 225 and 315 completely so as soon as you see this word greatest then it is understood that you are you are going to calculate the hcf you must calculate the hcf of the given number when three numbers are given choose the bigger number the highest number from this two and divide by the smaller number then from the result obtained you can go for the third number by division method or you can find all the common factors and you can find the hcf by common factor method or you can go for the prime factor method also next they can also like ask like this show that 45 56 are co prime numbers so if you see this word also it is understood you need to calculate the hcf of the given number and it can also be asked like this find the greatest number that will divide 93 One 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 and one twenty nine, leaving remainder three in each case. So now what you have to do? We can we have to uh, first subtract this remainder, and then only you will able to find out the HCF. So you can write ninety three minus three. That is ninety. You will get number ninety. Then you can go for. One 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 minus three, that is you will get one zero eight. Then one twenty nine minus three, he will get one twenty six. So now you need to find the HCF of these numbers. Then result will be the answer for this question. HCF you need to find out of ninety one not eight and one twenty six. Okay. hope you have understood the concept don't forget to subscribe the channel we'll catch you up in the next video thank you